Welcome to a new series that I'm going to call Competitive Pokemon Explained, where I try to explain certain things about both Smogon, the unofficial singles format, and BGC, the official doubles format, that might not be so obvious to first time players and spectators. If you're new to the channel and want to see more like this, please like and subscribe to help me upload content. With that out of the way, let's get started with this week's topic, which is... Let's start this video off with an explanation on how tiering works in Pokemon. For this video, I will only focus on the singles format, Smogon, as VGC does not have an official tiering system as far as I know. The tiers in Smogon for the latest generation are as follows. Overused or OU, underused or UU, rarely used or RU, never used or NU, and PU or ZU, the absolute lowest tier. Side note, PU and ZU are from what I've seen, considered to be the same tier, they just denote the same idea, which is the absolute lowest tier possible. Now, how are Pokemon assigned to each tier? Their usage rates. OU is a standard level of competitive play, and is similar to that of an S tier or A tier in a regular tiering system. This is where the most used Pokemon tend to end up, and thus the most viable Pokemon for competitive play. Pokemon drop down to lower tiers if they are not used enough in their previous tier. Every 3 months or so, if a certain Pokemon fails to meet a certain usage percentage, they drop down a tier. So, for example, if Garchomp was in OU last time, but fell down in usage so much that it failed to meet the usage threshold, it would drop down to UU. Pokemon can also go up tiers as well. UU Pokemon and below can rise up to the next tier if they reach a certain usage percentage as well. This can also happen if those Pokemon get banned from the lower tier and they get used a lot in the higher tier. Generally speaking, in each tier format, you can use Pokemon from that tier and below, but you may not use Pokemon from tiers that are above the format. For example, in the RU format, you may use RU, NU, and PU Pokemon, but not OU or UU tier Pokemon. Tiers are set up this way so that Pokemon in any power level can see use in the tier that they are placed in. Weaker Pokemon are able to compete against other weaker Pokemon without having to worry about super strong Pokemon dumpstering on them. Now, why are tiers set up in a way that prioritizes usage rates? Well, as Smogon and themselves put it, generally, we assume that most people who play competitive Pokemon play to win, and when people play to win, they generally use what is best. Smogon has a ton of resources on what the tiering system is and why they use it, and I will link it down below in the description if you are curious after the video is over. When Pokemon get used in competitive play, it's, usually, because people want to win a competition. Those Pokemon provide a tactical advantage that no other Pokemon could manage, and so they get used. The more they get used, the more likely it is that that Pokemon is good. So that is the tiering system in a nutshell. But that doesn't explain the original question. What is Ubers? Well, to explain that, I have to explain... Bans are commonplace in competitive games in general. If a tool or strategy is deemed to be so powerful that it becomes over-centralizing or unhealthy for the game, then it is usually banned. Anything that may give an unfair advantage is also banned. Bans exist in Pokemon as well. In between each tier below OU, there exist unofficial tiers where Pokemon reside. These Pokemon are banned from the tier below them and are usually considered borderline or in the ban list. For example, Lapras is an underused BL as it was deemed too unhealthy for that metagame. However, they are not truly considered OU, as Lapras does have some glaring flaws that prevent it from being a true OU mod, which is usually true for most borderline Pokemon. These ban lists aren't usually considered formats, however. There is rarely ever a UUBL that you can play in Pokemon Showdown that only consists of borderline Pokemon. These ban lists aren't tiers in themselves, but kind of exist between tiers to denote Pokemon that are way too good for lower tiers, but struggle too much in higher tiers. So what is the ban list for OU? Is it OUBL? No. Instead, the ban list for OU is called Ubers. Ubers is where Pokemon end up after being deemed too powerful for even standard competitive play. It's often where a lot of legendaries end up, as their powerful stats and overpowered traits make them too good to be used in competitive setting. However, there are times where regular Pokemon end up in Ubers, like when Mega Plazakin got banned to Ubers back in Generation 6, though this is less common than legendary Pokemon ending up in the tier. Ubers itself, though, is an actual tier that gets played and even has Pokemon that are banned from it, as well as Pokemon that aren't good enough to be played in Ubers, but far too strong to go down to OU. So it has a lot of legendary Pokemon. But wait a second, 
Legendaries don't always end up here. What gives? Kieran Black is in Black and White OU, and you're telling me that that isn't a legendary? Well, you would be right. Kieran Black is a legendary, and Ubers is where all the legendaries hang out. So why are they the exception? Well, if you didn't ask that question just now, I bet you already know the answer to that question. Ubers isn't defined by legendary status. It isn't just a tier where they stick only legendary Pokemon in. It is a ban list first and foremost. Again, going back to Mega Blaziken, it's a starter. Granted, it is the mega form of a starter, but still, Mega Blaziken is not a legendary. However, it was deemed, at one point, to be good for a standard competitive play and was banned to Ubers. The opposite happened to our icy friend over here. They simply weren't overpowered or unhealthy for OU. In fact, their power level was just right for OU and they stuck. Just because they're a legendary and have legendary status doesn't mean that they automatically get banned. We can also take the example of Regigigas. That thing is a legendary and it's been in the lowest tier ever since its introduction. So that's why the tiering system works the way it works, and why Uber sometimes doesn't have every legendary in it. But what about the other tiers? There exists a new tier called U Ubers that was, at the time of this recording, very recently introduced to the Mogon format. Essentially, it exists as an extension of Ubers, but for Pokemon that aren't quite good enough for regular Ubers, but are still too good for OU. It exists below Ubers, but isn't in the same sort of ladder as a standard competitive play. It's kind of its own thing. There also exists a tier above Ubers called Anything Goes, and it's where the most broken Pokemon to ever exist have ended up. It essentially acts as a ban list for the ban list that is Ubers. Mega Rayquaza is a notable poster child for this tier. There exists the untiered status. These Pokemon are so bad that they don't even work well in the lowest possible tier. These are Pokemon that just generally do not exist at all in the competitive scene. And then finally, we had the Little Cup and not fully evolved statuses. These aren't technically part of the regular format, but both of these encapsulate Pokemon that aren't fully evolved, either because they are a baby or an angsty teenager. Sometimes, not fully evolved Pokemon are good enough to get their own Smogon ranking, and not fully evolved isn't really a ranking in itself. It's more so a tag that denotes Pokemon that aren't fully evolved yet. Little Cup is its own separate meta and only has baby Pokemon at level 5. The Little Cup Pokemon can still be used in competitive play at level 100, though generally speaking, it's not always the best idea. And that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more, consider looking in the description and reading the resource I have listed down there. And while you're down there, comment on what your favorite Pokemon tier is. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And with that, I will see you all next time.